Lesson 102, we're going to talk about growth and decay. And actually, when we talk about uh, growth and decay, uh, some people would refer to that as exponential growth and uh, decay. Sorry. Oops. Why did I do this? Oh, this way. Or not. There we go. So exponential growth and decay. So we're not talking about growth, uh, like linear growth and decay, where something gets bigger at a constant rate. Uh, I'll show you with examples. Here we go. Find the next term in this growth sequence. What is the constant ratio? Well, actually, let's start out with the constant ratio here. 24 divided by 16 is 1.5. 36 divided by 24 is 1.5. And 54 divided by 36 is 1.5. Let me stop for a second and tell you where I'm getting these numbers. I'm, I'm dividing um, each number in the sequence, each term, by the previous term. So 24 divided by 16, 36 divided by 24, 54 divided by 36, which tells me that the, um, the constant ratio is 1.5, meaning if you multiply the previous term by 1.5, you'll get the next term. So all we have to do is take 54 and multiply it by 1.5, and we'll get 81. Let's do that again. Find the next term in this decay sequence. Well, the process really doesn't change. Um, if we do 192 divided by 256, we get uh, 0 0.75. If we do 144 divided by 192, we get... 0.75. And if we do 108 divided by 144, we get 0.75. So the constant ratio here is 0.75, obviously. So to get the next term, all we have to do is multiply the previous term by 0.75. 108 times 0.75 is our next term, and that is 81. Okay, so uh, 256 times 0.75 is 192. 192 times 0.75 is 144. 144 times 0.75 is 108. And 108 times 0.75 is our next term, 81. The schools in an older community experienced a decline in the student population of 3% per year. If the decline continues at the same rate, and there are 5,000 students in the community this year, how many students will be in the community in three years? So uh, they're asking us to round to the nearest hundred. So after uh, one year, we would uh, take the 5,000 students that are currently enrolled and multiply that by 0.97. Why 0.97? Because it's a 3% decrease, meaning we're going to still have 97% of the students that were there the year before. So if there were 5,000 students, after one year, we're only going to have 97% of those students left because we lost 3%. That's 4,850 4, students. Okay, what about after uh, two years? Well, after two years, we'd have to take what was there the previous year, 4,850. And again, we're going to keep 97%. We're losing 3%. We're keeping 97%. That comes out to 4,704.5. I know they said round to the nearest 100, but we'll wait until the end. And then after three years, how many students are we going to have left? Well, we'll take that 4,704.5 that we had the previous year, and we're going to keep 97% of it. Every year we're keeping 97% if we're losing 3%. So that's 4,563.365 students. Uh, we're going to round that to the nearest 100. So we'll say about 4,600 students or people. Students might be a better descriptor. All right, we're going to do the same thing here on example uh, D. The number of bacteria in a culture increased from about uh, 2,000 to about 4,000 in one year. 
assuming the bacteria population grows exponentially, how much longer will it take uh, the number to increase to 16,000? Well, it's growing exponentially. Okay, If they said it's growing at a constant rate, then that would mean it's going up from 2,000 to 4,000. It's going up by 2,000 every single time, but it's growing exponentially. That means it's doubling. So from 2,000 to 4,000, uh, I can tell that it doubled. So it's doubling every hour. It's also uh, increasing by 100%. Some might say it like that. Increasing by 100%. Increasing by 100% is doubling. Not increasing 2,000 every year. It just increased 2,000 the first year because it doubled the first year. So if it's at 4,000 and it doubles, it's going to be at 8,000. And if it's at 8,000 and it doubles, it'll be at 16,000. So after um, one additional hour, it was 8,000. After two additional hours, it was 16,000. So here's our answer. It will take two more hours. Okay, it took one hour to go from 2,000 to 4,000. And it'll take two more hours to get up to 16,000. So, all right, that's all I've got for you today on uh, exponential growth and decay. Uh, growth meaning getting bigger, decay meaning getting smaller. Uh, this is exponential, not linear. It's not constant. Um, and that's all I've got for today. We'll see you soon.